Welcome to Counselor's Corner. My name is Craig Hawkins. I'm a counselor at Midland High, and this is Jill English, counselor at Dow High. We're here today to cover some of the important topics for the month of December. One of the major things that we do in a counseling office is to help students, particularly in ninth and 10th grade, to help develop their career and college ideas. We realize that ninth graders may not know exactly what they want to do with their career, but in high school, it's time to start that exploration process. So particularly in ninth and 10th grade, we meet with those students in December uh, to cover and open up those avenues for them. One important software uh, piece that we do, we bring all of them into the computer lab and we register them on a program called MyCap, Michigan Cap. There's a direct link on the uh, Middle Public Schools website for that. All the students will be registered and they'll be able to access that. You can access that as well because it is web-based. And on that site, students are able to do interest inventories to help narrow down some of the career areas they might be focused on. Also, there's a good opportunity to search for colleges. And so, again, it's kind of a four-year process we have with high school students, particularly with the ninth graders. We want to get them started and get them working hard on that type of material. Um, also, in December, it's, a, it's an important thing to remember that we do obviously have Christmas break. That can be a good opportunity for some students that maybe were struggling a little bit, maybe had a hard time getting their work done. That, that's a time we obviously want students to take a break, but you can also get a little bit of work done if you talk to your teachers before break and see if you can catch up on any of that material. I'm going to give you a little bit of a preview of what's to come once we return from Christmas break. And within those first couple of weeks after we return in January, all students will be um, doing what we call course, recommenda course Recommendation Day. So they will be getting recommendations from their current teachers about which classes would be appropriate for them for the following year. So please be asking them about that and have that conversation before we actually select the class and put it on the computer. And that will happen sometime in February. Um, the next few pieces that I'd like to talk about are really senior specific. So the first thing is that beginning in January, seniors will have the opportunity to start filling out the FAFSA. That is the free application for federal student aid. And the website is fafsa.ed.gov if you'd like to take a look at it. Now, you can't start filling out the FAFSA until January. However, you do need to apply for a PIN before you can do the FAFSA, and that is something that you could be doing now. So if you go to that same website that I just listed, the FAFSA website, there's a link at the top um, that you can click on called PIN Site. Click on that, follow through the steps to find out how to apply for the PIN, and that's how you will do your electronic registration. Something else coming up in January related to financial aid is that this year at Dow High we will host the Financial Aid Night. It's on January 21st at 6.30. And this is a time when a local um, financial aid officer from a local college will be coming to us to give you information on how to file the FAFSA, how to work with the financial aid office at the college that your student's going to be attending, and help answer any questions that you might have. Scholarships are really going to start becoming available to students starting in January. We have some now, but more will be available January and February. So please be checking the school's websites. There is a scholarship link that you can click on to see any new scholarships that come through our office. And then if your student has not sent in a college application yet, this would be a great time before Christmas rolls around to wrap up any college applications or for them to come and see their counselor if they have questions on how to do that and we will be happy to help them. So that wraps up the December edition of Counselor's Corner and we will see you next year.